I went hunting over the past two weeks. Let's check out what I got. What up YouTube and Pride Comics back with a new video and in this video I'm going to show you all the books I picked up in the last two weeks. I got some spec books, some first appearances, some variants, some incentive variants and some new comic day books. But before we get into the books, if you like hunting for low budget keys, weekly comic book hauls, CGC unboxings and new comic book day spec buys, then click subscribe, smash that like button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos. Alright, with that out of the way, let's jump into these books. Alright, this first book I posted about on my Instagram probably about a month ago. I posted out of my spec there first. But this is Superior Spider-Man issue 33. Get the glare out of there. Uh, this is the uh, 1 in 10 incentive by Mike Del Mundo. Just a pretty dope cover. You see all the uh, masks from all the vari uh, different variations of Spider-Man. But the reason why I got this book here, it has the first few appearances of the Inheritors, but the main reason is it has the first appearance of Cyborg Spider-Man. I'll put this somewhere up here somewhere. About a month ago, Target released a Across the Spider-Verse toy of a Cyborg Spider-Woman. She looks like she's going to be a villain in the film. I didn't find any Cyborg Spider-Woman, but there was a Cyborg Spider-Man. Not the fake Cyborg Spider-Man from the Spider-Man first volume in uh, the 90s that he just put like a cybernetic fake arm cast not that one this is like a cyborg spider-man from an alternate reality they have the cyborg arm on the same right arm i believe it was uh turns into a gun the cybernetic eyes on the same side you know how disney and marvel sometimes like to swap the agendas so i really think this is who it's supposed to be i put cover a here somewhere but this is the one in ten incentive uh, if you see it out there for the low, definitely pick it up. I honestly think I paid like $5 for this book. So that's an awesome deal in my opinion. Then we got Uncanny Avengers Volume 2, Issue 3. I spoke about this one uh, a few weeks ago. This has the first appearance of Luminous, who uh, is the daughter of the High Evolutionary. Um, I believe that's who we saw in the Guards of the Galaxy 3 trailer. I spoke about this again on my Instagram. I'll put it here somewhere. Uh, this is the 1 in 25 incentive. Pretty sick cover. I have the cover A. Uh, I believe there's a cover C that has Scarlet Switch and Quicksilver. If you see that out there, pick it up. You can find these in the dollar bins. Even this 1 in 25 incentive, it says $8. I've got 30% off of that. So you can find these pretty low. If it turns out that I'm correct that that is luminous and this book pops, Yo, alright, this next issue is Joker, The Man Who Stopped Laughing, issue 3, the Ber Lee Bermehu variant that's been on top of the list for the past like two or three weeks. This book came out like two weeks ago, I believe it was, maybe three, yeah, no, no, two weeks ago. Alright, the next one I got is Batman, issue 130. Um, this is the, who was this? This is the, yeah, Gabriel Delato, the Delato variant. Thought it was pretty dope cover to grab. Then I also have the cover A. I believe this was the conclusion to the um, failsafe story arc, which I thought was dope. All right, then we got Nightwing issue 91. This is the Bruno Rodondi negative space uh, cover A. I just picked it up because I thought it was a pretty cool cover. All right, then we got Brave and the Bold issue 28, the facsimile. This is the first appearance of the Justice League. Uh, you know, I collect those facsimiles. From Image, I was finally able to grab plush issue one. This is by Doug Wagner and Daniel uh, Hilliard. Some guy goes to his first like furry little convention swinger thing, I don't know, and he stumbles upon uh, a few of them like eating another human being. That's what the synopsis says. It sounds crazy. I picked it up. I wanted to see what it's about. Uh, then another one from Image is Nightclub issue one. Uh, this is by Mark Miller and Juan and Ramirez. Based about some teenagers that were turned into vampires and decide that they're gonna just become superheroes. Thought it was pretty cool. This concept, I haven't read it yet. I got cover A and cover B. All right, the next one I got is Noctera, The Val Special by Scott Snyder and Francis Manipole. Uh, this is just, uh, I think it goes a little backstory about Val. I'm totally into Noctera. All right, the next one I got from Boom Studio is Spec Issue 1. This is about some teenagers who order some x-ray glasses and instead they get some magical glasses. It's kind of like that movie, well, the synopsis sounds like that movie They Live by with uh, Roddy Roddy Piper back in the 80s. Um, interested to see what it's about. Then, hey, this is one that it's a cover by. I was looking for this. I didn't even realize that my man Dan Hit did a cover variant for this. Um, this is from Dark Horse. 
This is The Ones. This is by Brian Michael Bendis and uh, Jacob Edgar. This is about every single person who was ever called the one in mythology from like, from I believe Neo to anybody that was called the one, that was like the chosen one. They were brought together to form a team to take on the actual chosen one. Uh, I thought that was a pretty cool concept. I wanted to read on it. And while I was hunting for issue one, I found a Dan Hip variant. And some of y'all know I'm collecting Dan Hip variants. So bam, two birds with one stone with that one. And then I also have issue number two. Definitely, definitely looking forward to reading that. Uh, then we got from Marvel and Star Wars, Hidden Empire issue two by uh, Charles Schwab and Steve Cumming. Um, not no significant, just wanted to pick up the first few issues of the Star Wars run and see what's it about. The next one is Tales of Suspense issue 57 with the first appearance of Hawkeye. That is the facsimile, another facsimile. Uh, I'm collecting them, I think they're pretty cool. I'm not gonna grade them or anything like that. Um, a lot of these books I will probably never get to own. It's the next best thing. And here's another facsimile this is Ultimate Spider Man uh, issue 1 with Miles Morales. First solo series. It's also the first appearance of Ultimate Prowler and the first appearance of his parents. Um, but again, that's just facsimile. I've never actually read it, and now I can get a chance to read it. And then I have from his newer series, Miles Morales, uh, Spider-Man Volume 2, Issue 1. This is the Mike Del Mundo uh, graffiti variant. This is by Cody Ziegler and Federico Vincentini. Uh, this has the first appearance of a character named Ran in them, something like that. And uh, later, who later becomes a, a villain or enemy to Miles. I picked up two of the uh, graffiti variants, and I also got two of cover A. Alright, the next one I got is uh, Spider-Man issue 3, the Beyond variant from the newer series written by Dan Slott. Uh, this is the Beyond variant covered by Dennis Chan. The series is okay, I'm still iffy on it, we'll see how it goes. Alright, this next one is Doctor Strange issue 9 by Jet McKay and Marcelo Ferreira. As you can see, Doctor Strange is returned with a little grayish hair, but it also has the return, spoiler, of like a zombie type uh century haven't read it yet just i've already seen the spoilers i'm interested to see what's going on i've been collecting this run and the next one i have is fantastic four issue two by ryan north and Ivan cabello this is covered by alex ross of course i'm not caught up with it all yet but i think uh, reed and sue are on the run want to see what's going on with that to see if i continue picking it up and then here we have extreme x-men issue one this is cover a this is by the great chris kerlemont it's just a whole new story but placed in the time of uh back then from the original run of extreme x-men in 2001 then we got tiger division issue two this has the first appearance of min joe Alright, then we have Tiger Division Issue 2 by Emily Kim and Chris Lee. This has the first appearance of Min Jo, a friend of Tako, I can't say, the Korean Superman. It's a friend of his who later becomes his enemy. And that's Issue 2, I don't know if I said Issue 1, because this is Issue 1, the Peach Momoko variant. This is the first series for the Tiger Division. Then now we're getting into the cover buys. This is the Peach Momoko variant for Daredevil 6 by Chip Zdarsky and Rafael De La Torre. The story is crazy in this one. Uh, Daredevil is training all the villains that he uh, broke out of jail. Electra takes on Iron Man. And it's all set up for the clash of the fist and the hand between the Punisher and Daredevil. Then I got the Momoko variant for Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur issue 1. Not really a big fan of Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. I never really read too much about them. Um, but I am a fan of Momoko, so I picked up the issue 1 variant. Also has the first appearance of Olivia, who later is an antagonist to uh, Moon Girl. And then I have the Momoko variant for Ghost Rider issue 9. It's a pretty sick cover. And then I have another Momoko variant for Immortal X-Men issue 9 with Psylocke. Psylocke was always my favorite female X-Men. And anytime Momoko draws Psylocke, I try to pick that up. And last but not least, this is Thanos Death Notes issue 1, but the Gone with the Wind uh, variant by Daniel Acuna. Pretty cool cover. Alright guys, that's all the books I have for this haul. Let me know what you thought about the books in the comments below. Don't forget to give me a follow on Instagram so you get a chance to see all my spec books before I put it on YouTube. And until next time, keep specking. Later.